everybody, it's Redstone Knight X here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial video. Where today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple waterfall secret entrance, or in this case, it's a waterfall split entrance. And here's how it works so, when you flip this lever right here, it will open up a door and split the waterfall in half so you can go through. Oh, and by the way, before we get into this video, guys, as always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and slap the bell so you'll be notified of the next video. And I'd like to give a shout out to the design idea. It's this YouTuber's name is called FedEx Gaming. He's the one who came up with this idea, so shout out to him, and I'll leave a link in the description for his channel if you want to check it out too. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Okay, guys, so. The materials you're going to need for this, like, if you're building this in survival, um, you're going to need 10 sticky pistons, one normal piston, one dispenser, um, 10 repeaters, 3 redstone dust, 16 redstone, I mean, 3 redstone torches, 16 redstone dust, one lever, and one sand. And I forgot something else. And also a water bucket. Okay, so watch carefully, guys. Now we're gonna first come over to this block right here and replace it. Replace it with a sticky piston. And and with a block of your choice. So So I feel like for this demonstration, I'm going to use uh we'll just use normal sandstone. We'll place it right there. And then what you want to do, guys, is then take your repeaters and then two along here and set them both on a four tick delay. And then have a block right here. And with another repeater on a four tick delay. With a red some dust going along here. And then And we're just gonna go color coordinated with this. So let's get some concrete actually actually yeah we'll do that okay so take this red concrete go up two blocks or whatever block you use and we'll place a redstone torch right here which will activate that piston and then redstone dust here and then what you want to do guys is then go up by two blocks break this one and then place a lever right here. This is where the is where the whole thing is gonna get activated. So make sure it's like you go up two blocks, then break this one, replace it with this lever. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step. Okay, guys. Now for the next step. Now what you want to do is um take your redstone dust, place one up here, and then go and take whatever con color co whatever color you use and go along two blocks like this and with redstone here and then set this and a repeater right there and i believe it's on um on a one tick delay and to put and place down two blocks of your choice with redstone going along here then what you want to do guys is make two by two squares right here And in front of the top part here, put a repeater right here on a two tick delay, and like this. And we're gonna and we're gonna put uh, the two sticky pistons like oh, like this and like this and like this and yeah. Some of you may be familiar with this Like I did a video of how to make like a 1x2 flush piston door. So yeah, this is going to be similar to what I did before in a previous video. Oh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Link in the description. Anyway, then we're going to place a block of your choice right here. And then once we do that and when we activate this lever, it will... Oh, push this here, and then push that down. And, which is exactly what we want. 
and that'll and that'll be it for this bottom part. And by the way, this so this flush door combined with this is called a jeb door. Yeah, a jeb door. So like later, this is gonna be where the waterfall pours, when it gets split into two, it'll fall into these two holes. In which this one... In which this one, like when it clo- I don't know, sorry, let me start over. When this is closed, then this, the water's gonna pour out from the middle. And when you track it back, it's gonna split into two. Okay, so let's get into the next one. Part. A few moments later. Okay, so guys, now we're gonna come over here and place place a block right here, and with a red with a redstone with a redstone torch on top, with another block on top, like so. And we're gonna come out three blocks this way, and then another two by two square right here. And then put redstone all around the backhand side, like so. And then this repeater and another repeater. This one on two ticks delay and this one on four ticks delay. And then we're gonna have two blocks like this. One, two. With redstone dust right here. And we're gonna have two sticky pistons here and here. And then a block of your choice right here. Oh wait. Here, there we go. This will be th the thing that splits up the waterfall in half. So, so yeah, when um when we flick this lever right here, it will retract back, which will have the waterfall go down the middle. And when you flick the lever again, this will be the thing that splits the waterfall in half. Okay. And now we're on the final step. So now we're going to place a redstone torch right here. And then we're going to, you can get like any color block of your choice. This time I'm going to use lime green concrete. Then we're going to place that right here with redstone on top. Actually, we're going to make sure this is off before we do this and then we're going to take our normal piston place it right here make sure it's facing upwards and then make sure you put sand sandstone on top and then place another lime green concrete like this with the repeater like so on a one tick delay and then we're going to have a, pit, a dispenser right here, put it the water inside. And then what you want to do is, guys, um, you need to place a sticky piston right under it with the block of your choice. And then we're gonna put redstone right here. Make sure you s go into, make sure you sneak while you do this. And then we're going to take this block and go like this. And then we're going to place a repeater on a two tick delay, like so. And then we're going to have um, two blocks, like this. And we're going to have redstone on top. And then three blocks along like this, going all the way to the repeater, like so. And then the repeater goes there. And make sure this is on a one tick delay. And that should be most of it done and the final touches um we're gonna do this make sure it's like an x like x marks the spot when you're a pirate arg anyway sorry about that now we're going to do the best part which is to cover it all up so make sure you have these two holes like this so like when the water comes down it doesn't wash away all this redstone down here and you can start building the wall that will cover up the redstone. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so now that you have covered up the whole redstone, now we have to do one last thing to make sure it's fully functional. 
So now, to activate the war, you just need to place a redstone torch down here, and then the war will start flowing, like so. And then, the last, very last step we have to do, guys, is to, um, get a sandstone stairs, or whatever stairs that you did with the block of your choice. And place it going sideways, so at least you have a little hole that you can, like, get the lever out. And also, note this, guys. However you want to cover up that hole so no one else could just, like, see it and then flick the lever is totally up to you. But for now, I'm just showing you how you can activate it through that small hole. For now. Okay, so now once you do that... Flick the lever... And there you go. And that's the waterfall, uh, the split waterfall completed. So let's cover up this redstone right here. Meanwhile. And also make a little hole that you can actually close the door from the inside. Because you don't want to accidentally trap yourself in there. Now, that would not be fun at all. A few inches later. So like so. And boom. That's how you make the split waterfall entrance. And by the way, however you make the interior, like I said in my previous videos, is totally up to you. It doesn't have to be how I make it or if I don't make any at all. So, yeah. Let's get out of here and close the door. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial and want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And also, shout out to FedEx Gaming for this idea for this waterfall design. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.